Yo, how's it going you guys? New Age here with our next ROM hack let's play. Now, I already messed up. This isn't a ROM hack. This is a fan-made game made off of RPG Maker. And some of the best, let me tell you, games are made off RPG Maker. Um, including some of your favorites, like, I don't know. Um, like Ethereal Gates, that's made off RPG Maker. Um, all the ones that... Everyone just got done playing, like Munching Orange and all them. I forgot what it's called. Pokemon Uranium! That's the game. That game. It was also made on RPG Maker. I'm pretty sure I haven't played it. It just looks like it was. You know? But anyways, anyways, enough chitter chatter. We are playing Pokemon Survival Island. Now see, the reason I'm not playing all those games, like Uranium and all that stuff that everyone's playing is... Because I don't like to play what everyone else is playing. I don't like to be all mainstream like that. So, I went looking for an RPG Maker game. I also wanted one that was finished because I want to do a full Let's Play. I don't really enjoy playing, like, demos and stuff is cool. But, I like to play the game, you know? Like, Ethereal Gates, I haven't touched that one. Because it looks awesome. And I don't want to just play it up to one badge. I want to play the whole thing. So, that's why I found this game. It seems pretty awesome. I don't really know what it's about, but it looks like a pretty game. It's got some pretty chill music going on and a pretty awesome name. I'll say that right now. So, hopefully you guys are hyped and excited to start a new Let's Play. That's the same thing as hyped, but either way, let's get into it. Let's see what we got going on. Okay, looking good so far. Um, <coughs> I want to say too, I'm not gonna have a webcam for this series just because I'm gonna be recording this in the middle of moving and stuff so I don't want some weird like background changes going on and I also don't exactly know what my setup is gonna be at my new place yet so I don't know how great my lighting is gonna be so I don't want it to have weird random lighting all these different times or whatever so uh, don't, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. If anything, it gives me more room on the layout to do some random fun kind of thing. But one of the things I do know about this game is you are like a Silphco employee, and you start off like, basically, y you get to make a choice if you want to be a Pokemon trainer or like live a boring life or something like that. But I think either way, you end up becoming a Pokemon trainer. Um, and that's pretty much all I know about this game. So let's hit up that new game, get it started, and see... What Pokemon Survival Island has in store for us. Difficulty. <sighs> okay, well, you know what? I'm not doing a Nuzlocke because I don't do Nuzlocke's of um, fan-made games or ROM hacks. That's why I always do two Let's Plays on my channel uh, at the same time. This will actually be going up while Pokemon Sun is going up. Um, so I'm not doing a Nuzlocke of that, but otherwise... Um, all of my other main title Pokemon games, like the Gold vs. Silver, that was a Nuzlocke. So, I do Nuzlocke of all the main title games because those are games we've already seen and we already know what's in it so we can make them more interesting with Nuzlocke. I don't like to randomize or do anything to fan-made games because they work hard to make the teams and all that stuff a certain way. And I don't want to mess that up. I want to see what they were trying to do with the teams and the game and all that good stuff. So, that being said, let's play this on hard. Because we don't have to worry about stuff dying forever, okay? Let's see what hard has in store for us. We can battle some cool teams, maybe. Some harder Pokemon. That's what I'm looking forward to. Okay, wait. I have to take a look at these controls because I always forget how to use the RPG Maker controls. So C is confirm, X is to exit, Z, Z is to run. And F5, what the hell? That's like 
all the way on the other side of the keyboard. But, okay, I think I got it. Ooh! I'm liking the music they got so far. I don't know who's talking right now, so I'm just going to read it in a normal voice. Welcome to the Silvco Information Database. To access the database, you must create an account. Okay. Please state your name as printed on your Silvco employee ID card. Hey. <laughs> they call me New Age. Oh, wait. <laughs> Enter. Uh, hell yeah. This is cool. I like this intro. The database returned eight profile matches. Please select your profile. Oh, there's eight New Ages that worked. Shop. I don't think so. Oh, bro. This is cool. I I kind of love my boy Emerald though. I love the green one. Honestly, I might have to go with that. This is cool though. Or you know, we got we got your standard standards. Do I want a standard standard? I feel like I shouldn't be these guys because oh, it's so hard already. <laughs> the difficulty of this game is definitely hard. I feel like I should be standard standard. Orange is cool. Oh, but this dude looks so legit. All right, all right, fine. Let's let's do orange. Question of the day. Did I make the wrong decision? Who would you have chose? <laughs> Please answer the following security question. What is your starter Pokemon? Oh, snap. Say what? I get to just choose my starter? Okay, hold up. So, for those of you who don't know, Blastoise is my favorite starter of all time, but I feel like lately I've been using a lot of Blastoise, so I want to stray away from that a bit. Wait, can I use any starter? <laughs> Wait, hold up. Shield on? Hmm. No. Go ahead. Whoa, whoa. Can I use any starter? That's, that's, that's a serious, that's a serious question right there. Hold up. I also don't know how, how many generations of Pokemon are in this game. Okay, give me a second. I need to take a look at my dude Serebi and check out all of the steel types to see if I can just type in Ernibuddy. Because, like, my damn. Yo, I would love to have myself a Metagross, low-key. But Beldum is kind of bougie at the beginning. It, I don't, I mean, I don't even know if these are options. Low-key, though? I would want an Onyx. Onyx is always one of my favorites, and Steelix <coughs> all together. Or Horsey. Oh, my gosh. All right, hold up. <laughs> This is going to be a weird starter. I feel like I've been using Onyx a lot too. But I want to see. Is Onyx a starter? Oh my gosh. You could choose whatever starter you want in this game. <laughs> what? Your boy, what? Okay, okay. G give, give me a second, guys. <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> this, is a, this is a big choice to make right off the bat. Alright, you know what, guys? I I have to do it. I have to go for it. Uh, Beldum is kind of trash, but later on in the game, we could have us a nice and powerful Metagross. And I don't know how the evolutions work in this game, so I didn't want to choose Onyx, not knowing if it could be a Steelix. Um, but Beldum can for sure be a Metagross. And Beldum's not going to be the greatest to start off with, but... Yo, later on in the game, we get ourselves a nice powerful Metagross. That's what's up. Also, uh, guys, what... Like, what is up with this? You could choose any Pokemon. I mean, maybe not legendaries. I didn't try that, but like, what? Bro, you serious? I'm choosing Meldum. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm an intern. I brought my rope. I'm 18. Security access, priority access all. Currently accessing in a secure oh accessing a secure area. Information you are about to view may be confidential. Yo. I'm loving this game so far. <laughs> it's been nearly three days since the crap what crash? In that time I've been salvaging what I can find in the wreckage. Is this me? 
Good thing too, the ship is now submerged completely. I don't know what happened, I just know I'm the only survivor. Now I have just one objective. Survive! Uh, 